Hi, John here from Fort 4 with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to get a handwritten effect inside Adobe After Effects. Okay, so I've got a basic composition laid up with a solid in the background. So let's say we want to pick some text that we're going to have a handwritten in. So let's choose this. First, you need to basically find a font that you think suitable for it. Uh, there's quite a few of these, but I'm using Caligra Graffiti that's available on Font Scroll. It'll also be in the description of this video and on fort4.com. Okay, so let's say I want to handwrite this. First thing I have to do is build a mask that goes over it. So I simply go up to the mask tool and the pen tool, which you can also get by choosing G once you've written the font. And then you have to basically draw splines through the whole of your work. Make sure that they closely match the actual text. If you make any mistakes, you can just go back at the end and kind of verify them. So I'm going to quickly do the word this on this example. Uh, just make sure that it basically flows perfectly throughout the whole of your script. And then go on to the next letter and so on and so on. And then just kind of think about how you would handwrite this text. And that will get you the most natural looking effect throughout the whole of your animation. And the way that you draw the paths on will be the way that it animates on and off, depending on which sort of style that you go for. And what we're basically going to do is hide the text after we've got it animated in place. So, okay, I've animated the word this. So, what we're going to do is go over to Effects and Presets and apply the stroke. You can also get that through the Generate menu in FX. And it's there. So what you're doing is going to apply the stroke to it, and you're going to basically increase the size of the brush so that the whole of the word this is hidden, like so. What you're then going to do is animate the start and end po point of the stroke effect to kind of give you a rough timing. You can press the word U on your keyboard, and that will bring up your keyframes. And so far you see it's now animated, but it's a little bit slow. So then you just basically work about doing timings for all your stroke effects until you've got something you're happy with. Now this is quite a quick tutorial, but that's because it's quite a quick effect to do. Uh, basically continue that throughout your whole thing and you end up with something that looks very reasonable at the end and gives a very decent hand-drawn effect to your kind of video. Like so. I hope this was of some use to someone. Thank you very much. And don't forget to like and comment on this video.